start this video with some truth. Our legs are never gonna be perfect because let's be honest, perfect is definitely Photoshop. We have cellulite and varicose veins and uneven skin tone and razor burn and I have just accepted that my legs will never be perfect bronze pieces of art. But I have found some simple things that I like to do in the summer that make me feel a lot more confident in my legs and I'm going to share them with you today. Okay, tip number one, I love to exfoliate my legs with coffee, and that's not just because I love the smell of coffee, it's because coffee is actually really good for your skin. Coffee has caffeic acid in it, which is known to make your skin look more taut. And some studies have even indicated that it helps to diminish the appearance of cellulite. Additionally, coffee is a great macro exfoliant, which means it's going to do wonders helping to buff away any dry or dead skin. I also like to add honey to my scrubs because it's a natural humectant, which means it helps to draw in and retain moisture. This DIY scrub will last about two weeks if you keep it in a mason jar or an airtight Tupperware. I also suggest you use this scrub in the shower because it is a little bit messy. My next tip is when it comes to lotion, and I suggest using a lotion that has cocoa butter. I've used probably pretty much every lotion that's out there, body butters, lotions that claim they're gonna get rid of cellulite or firm your legs, but I have found that this Palmer's Coconut Formula Lotion is the best thing for my legs. So I picked this up for my growing baby belly, which yes, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might have missed the announcement that But First Coffee has a bun in the oven. Anyways, I started using it on my legs and noticed almost immediately that my legs looked smoother, they looked more moisturized. It literally did wonders for my legs in just a couple of days. So it's definitely not marketed for legs, but really what it's designed to do is help improve your skin's elasticity, and I find that it makes my legs look amazing. If you've never tried it, definitely try this out for your legs. All right, tip number two is one of the best leg tricks that I have found for the summer, and that is to size up in your shorts. Our common sense tells us we should buy our shorts in the same size that we buy our jeans, but if you really think about it, we usually want our jeans to be a little bit tighter around our leg, and we want our shorts to be a little bit looser around our legs. Shorts that are too tight tend to pinch your skin in all of the wrong spots, which can make cellulite look more apparent. I also find that by sizing up in my shorts and going a little bit bigger, it gives my legs the appearance of being longer and leaner, as opposed to smaller and more pudgy if I wear a pair of shorts that are too tight and sort of squeeze around my leg. All right, my next tip is to invest in a good razor. And I'm not saying here that you need to like go get a $200 gold-plated razor. I'm just saying it's time to upgrade from disposable razors if that's what you're using. A good razor can make all the difference between a smooth shave and a shave that leaves you riddled with razor burn. I personally have been a Venus razor user for probably about four years now. I just find that they're the best quality for the price. And I also find that the cartridges last way longer than disposable razors do. So in the long run, I'm probably saving money or spending about the same as if I were to buy the cheap razors. I also always suggest using a shaving cream or gel when you shave. This helps give you a smoother shave because it's gonna help the razor glide over your legs. Now, I will tell you from experience that it is best to buy the shave gels that are designed for women for their legs. The men's ones always seem to leave razor burn for me. I think it's the high fragrance because I also find that even women's shave gels that have high fragrance can often lead to razor burns. So I suggest looking for a shave gel that indicates that it's for sensitive skin or it's fragrance free. Those tend to be the best. My next tip is squats. And let me preface this by saying I am not a workout buff. You probably will never find me like going for a run or like sweating in my local gym. But to me, squats are a wonder workout because you can literally do them anywhere. You can do squats while you're brushing your teeth or while you're waiting for water to boil or while you're making your coffee. And they do a great job working out your entire leg. I find that when I do squats consistently, and that for me, that's doing it somewhere between like 100 to 200 times a day. Like I said, I literally just sort of do them while I'm doing normal activities throughout the day. Then my skin looks more taut, my legs look more toned, and I also find that it diminishes the appearance of cellulite as well. All right, my final tip is when in doubt, leg makeup. Tell you something about myself, I'm very clumsy, which means that I always end up with cuts and bruises all over my legs, and most of the time I just deal with it, but sometimes if there's a special event, like I'm going to a wedding or something, I wanna make my legs, legs look a little bit better, and for this case, leg makeup is perfect. There are a couple of varieties. I like the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs one. You basically just spray it onto your legs and then buff it in a little bit with your hands. I like to do it just sort of quickly before it dries and it helps cover up any imperfection, makes your skin look smooth and even toned. The reason that I stick to the Sally Hansen one is just because it's sort of tried and true for me. I've used it many times. It never sweats off. Even if it gets a little wet, it doesn't come off. It really takes soap and water to get it off you. So you don't have to worry about dripping or transferring onto your clothes. 
All right, my friends, that does it. I'm never gonna have perfect legs, but those are the tricks that I use to make me feel more confident in my legs. If you use some of them, definitely let me know in the comments down below, or you can message me on Instagram or shoot me an email. I love to hear back from you guys when you try out some of my tips or tricks from my videos. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video.